All right, my Oak Island fishing friends. Today, we went down to the intercoastal, so gonna catch some fish, but you know what? I didn't bring any bait. I figured to catch some when I got down there, but when I got down there, the wind was blowing, the waves was rough, and the fish were scattered, so uh, I wasn't having any luck getting any. But before I went, I had caught a crab in the crab trap, and I thought, hmm, I heard red drum like crab pieces, so maybe we'll try to, try to catch a red drum on a crab. You think we can do it? Let's go, let's go find out. Hey, y'all. Alright, if you're going to fish with crab, the first thing that has to happen is the crab has to come to his demise. Hey, I caught this crab in the crab trap. You're allowed to have one crab trap attached to your dock illegally without any uh, special uh, license or anything. So, I got this one. I cut him in half and I'm going to break the top half of his shell off. And uh, I'm going to quarter this one so I have four pieces. If I was fishing for bonnet head or, or if I had a larger like a shark type rig on, I might use a half a crab. But um, I'm only using a double drop rig uh, with smaller hooks. So, I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces so I can have this crab go a little further than if I used a whole big chunk. I'm going to break the legs off. I don't like the way that came off. Like too much meat came out with it. I probably should have just broke it off with a cut it off with a knife. But um, anyway, still good. And I'm basically going to take this as a number one circle hook and I'm just going to kind of stick it in through where the leg was and then just come out a little bit of the shell so it kind of holds it in there real nice, nice. And I can cast that without it coming off. Now I'm just going to cast it out past some of this grass that's here and it was like right away, boom, I had a hit. Started reeling it in and it was a drum, it was a red drum, but it was a puppy drum. I don't know how big it is, I didn't bother measuring it, but I could tell just reeling it in it wasn't a very big fish. Might have been a foot. Uh, 18 to 27 is the slot for red drum, so this little puppy drum is going back in the water. But at least it worked. We caught a we've caught our red drum on a piece of crab, so now we know we can do it again. So I went ahead and I used the rest of the crab up. But what was happening is the pinfish were just pecking it away and just taking it off before I I guess before the red drum could find it. So I was like, huh, I'm going to do another crab. So I was like, let me catch a pinfish and see if I can't catch some crab. So I went over to the little marsh there behind the ICW and I put the. Uh, pinfish in the net and I just kind of laid it down there and uh, came back a few minutes later it was like no time at all and there was a crab in the net I kind of pulled it up now I was gonna fish with him but he was a little too small and I'm like yeah this supposed to be five inches across to keep so I'm just like I'll just let him go I did notice there were some fish uh, minnows hopping around so I got the cast net out and I, I threw it over in that grass and I actually was able to catch a couple of um, not mud minnows I said mud minnows last time but these little mullet little finger mullet and uh, so I got a couple of those and I uh, put them back on my number one circle hook there and I just casted that out and there were some fish jumping out a little bit further it probably were blues and I lost a couple of the minnows due to them and this is what I was coming up with so someone was hungry and took a little chunk out of that but <laughs> he didn't want to he didn't want to hit the hook but while I was fishing for some other ones uh, my wife actually landed one so again another puppy drum this time just on a on a minnow uh, again too small so he's going back in the water but hey good day fishing at that point it started raining the weather was rough